Guiding future Afghan National Army leaders involves more than just learning to march and fire weapons. For these citizens trying to become soldiers, it starts with literacy. I wanted to be literate because I never learned to read, so here I could get literacy training and become a good officer or NCO in the future and serve my country. My home and district is really bad, really poor, so this is the first time I've had a chance to go to school. In 2009, literacy training programs did not exist in the ANA, and 86 of the new recruits were illiterate. With the help of coalition forces, the ANA now provides literacy training. The, the majority of the United States soldiers come into the military with a 12-year education, but the Afghan soldiers come in with, you know, zero education. But by the time they leave basic training here, they will have received up to 60 hours, which will train them at a third grade level here, so they can read, write, and basically understand more of the language than they could when they, when they first started. Literacy is the first step. Education continues with basic soldier skills like marksmanship and recognizing explosive devices, skills tailored to issues these new soldiers will face when they get to their units. The most interesting thing I've got to learn is shooting the M240 and 249. I'm very happy I had a chance to shoot this weapon. I'll keep all the training in mind especially the urban training, learning to search a building, mount training, and the live fire exercise. Those three were very interesting for me, and I will keep it forever. The training cycles are really good. Through the training, they make bonds, friendships. I've graduated 22 battalions, and I've seen their values, morales grow, and their discipline. So, wherever they are going, they have a lot of achievement from training and the villages they will go to might be dangerous. But I receive phone calls back from those provinces that my battalions, my trainees are really good. The basic training course is eight weeks of focused quality instruction. It's very different for me now. I have an army frame of mind. In the beginning, we didn't know all these things, but after two months of going through all of this, we have learned a lot. I'm feeling I'm much stronger, and I can use this training to save my life and my country. We have seen several wars here. All the people here are tired from war, so I don't want that anymore. I will serve my country to solve that problem, and everyone will do their jobs to stop the fighting. I will do my best for that. These newly trained soldiers add to the nearly 170,000 already serving in the Afghan National Army. 25,000 more soldiers are projected to graduate and be ready to secure and defend their nation by the end of 2014. Army Sergeant Daniel Washington Kabul, Afghanistan.